This is underwater analysis of Emily's police dog. As we can see, and as we already talked about, she needs to get those hands tight in the screen now before she comes in on her entry. As we can see, those hands are apart. She's got to fight to get them back together. Good body position. One of the things that she can work on, as we can see here, is that she has great head position, but then right before she takes a breath, she's going to pick that head position up, okay, and then take the breath. We want to make want her to keep that head position down until she takes the breath. She doesn't need to pick that head up. One of the things that she does better than most of the people that she swam with this week is she does an excellent job of keeping her elbow below her hand. And what I mean by that is, as we can see here, her hand is always ahead of her elbow in the stroke, which is exactly what we want to see. This allows her to use more power, use more of her bigger muscles, her lats, and this is allows her to finish her stroke a lot stronger. Okay, this is an excellent, excellent technique for someone so young. We see her come through here on the turn, flip over, spin over onto her stomach, and then push off. That's when we really want to see her push off on that back and then kick her way onto her stomach. See that great power in the freestyle? Good swim through to the wall. This is above water analysis of Emily's freestyle. So Emily, as we can see, Ready? needs to make sure she gets those hands together before she enters the water for her streamline, okay? When she hits the water, that forces her hands wider apart, and then she has to use her strength to get those hands back together. So what we really need to think about is making sure we get into that streamline position before we hit the water. Emily swims with great freestyle technique. Very good elbow bend, good body position, nice straight-legged kick, good head position, and nice roll. Doesn't do a, uh, any hip movement at all, which is exactly what we want to see. All right, coming in for this flip turn. As we see, she comes in, flips over, and then she spins over onto her stomach before she pushes off the wall. Okay, what we need to see is her push off flat on her back and then kick her way onto her stomach. That's going to allow her to come off the wall with a lot more speed and power. The other thing that we need her to work on on the turn is making sure that she doesn't breathe on that first stroke. So she's already lost a little bit of momentum by spinning over onto her stomach before she pushes off. And then right away she takes a breath. This really slows her down. Okay, We want to try to take as many strokes off the wall as possible without taking a breath so that we can maintain that top speed off the wall. We'll never be going as faster than we are off the start or the wall, so we need to go as long as we can without taking a breath. As we can see, after she takes that breath, she really starts to pick her momentum back up. The pretty strong freestyle.